All right, who wants to eat? No one, because eating is difficult as... Everyone loves eating, apart from being a natural biological need to sustain our protein-based life form, nothing beats stuffing our face with our own favourite food. From the very beginning of humanity, the act of eating has evolved from just basic sustenance into important daily social events of today. Eating is such an important daily event for many. Despite all that, unfortunately, eating in my own experience comes with its own set of challenges. Number one, nobody ever wants to leave. Having to eat in a group is a massive challenge if not the biggest I'll ever face on a daily basis. Even before leaving the office, it takes a magnitude of patience and self-restraint not to murder your entire colleague line because nobody ever wants to get off the chair. Somehow, someone will be sending an email, someone is still rendering something, someone needs to be calling a client, someone is still in the middle of the game. Dang cool. And this evil cycle will keep going on and on for the next 15 minutes and everyone is still on the SS by then. This is the point that I'm very certain that I'm going to die of starvation. Is no one else hungry at all? Eh? Am I, am I the only one starving here? Number two, decisions, decisions. So let's say we finally manage to get everyone off the asses. Comes the next most challenging part, which is deciding what to eat. And getting a unanimous decision from everyone in the office is literally impossible. Why? One person will decide on something and all it takes is for another person to shoot that idea down. Everyone is just so freaking picky. And then we have assholes like this. Okay, so I ate. Anything ah? Can you see? Can you see fattening ah? Chicken rice. I just had that yesterday. Sushi? So expensive! You see how? Then, then what you wanna eat? Anything ah? Number three, everywhere is crowded. Once we finally decide what to eat, you realize that actually restaurants everywhere outside during lunch hour will be crowded as a I can't say that. Shit. We have to stock tables that are almost done and rush towards them the moment the previous customer leaves. Then again, there are customers who are already done, but suddenly they decide to sit down and continue chit chat, resulting them in taking freaking forever to leave. Bugger! Finish, eat already, leave la, what are you doing? Laying eggs ah! Number four, economy lies. Sometimes when we can't decide on what to eat, we always opt for the safest and cheapest choice. The economy rice. <sighs> the infamous economy rice. This option is a well-known gambling system that you can take the same amount of food as your friend but somehow for some reason you get charged slightly more for no reason at all. Then again, there are some places that charges you way too much that you might as well have gone to an expensive place to eat right. Economy rice is a game that you can never win. The only person that wins this economically is the uncle behind the counter. You always tell yourself that you will never come back again but oh, we know. Even the uncle knows. You'll be back. Number five, delivery. So in order to bypass the frustrating points from one to four, sometimes I just have to suck it up and just go with delivery. Which is not only the best option, but also the most efficient. I'll just fire up the Dhammakan app, place an order and just wait for the food to arrive at my doorstep. Food arrives, I eat, end of story. Not only I get fed, everyone else in the office can go and eat shit while they look at me that I have food which they don't. Then after that, I sit back and watch everyone leave the office for lunch, thus leaving me all alone by myself. Shit. Why is eating so hard for me? Um, because you have no friends. Hey, you shut up! Like hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section below on what are the challenges that you face when you try to get food. Before I end this video, I just want to give a big shout out to Dalmakan, which is a food delivery app that I'm currently using to avoid starvation. They have pretty good food selections and they deliver right to your doorstep. So, try it today with my code BTASTYMYS and get 12 ringgit off your first purchase. What's up? Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you see. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.